Hi, welcome to another Biomedical Engineers TV video. We will be starting a series on nuclear medicine instruments. In this video, we look into brachytherapy. Let's look at where it all began. The origin of brachytherapy is directly related to the discovery of radioactivity by Becquerel in 1896, which led to Marie and Pierre Curie discovering radium in 1898. The first successful radium brachytherapy was the skin irradiation of two patients with basal cell carcinoma in St. Petersburg in 1903. The surface mold and plaque treatments were followed by intracavitary techniques for cervical and endometrial cancer. A few years later, an interstitial radium brachytherapy technique was developed and most body areas were treated with radium brachytherapy. In the 1950s, radium was replaced by artificial cobalt-60 and cesium-137. In the 1960s, iridium-192 was the most commonly used source of brachytherapy. During this time period, remote afterloading devices were developed and improvements in imaging techniques and computer technology were adopted to brachytherapy. The evolution of brachytherapy has continued over the years, but many of the techniques have remained unchanged. So how does a brachytherapy machine work, and what are the components of a brachytherapy machine? Brachytherapy is a form of radiation therapy used to treat various cancers. Treatment involves surgically placing radioactive seeds, capsules, or other implants directly in or near the cancerous tumor. The implants give off radiation for a short time. Radiation from brachytherapy targets cancerous tissue, sparing healthy surrounding tissue. Brachytherapy is also called internal radiation therapy. Radioactive materials implanted inside or next to the tumor emit a prescribed dose of radiation. Radiation destroys or damages the genetic makeup of cancer cells. Damaged cancer cells can't grow and multiply. Eventually, they die off. The animation of guiding system for the check cable and the source cable of nucleation micros electron HDR device. In the off position, the source is located in the center of the tungsten safe. From there, the source can be transported through the indexer ring to the source transfer tubes and into the patient. Some radioactive sources used for brachytherapy are iridium-192, the half-life of which is 74.17 days, iodine-125, which has a half-life of 60.25 days, and palladium-103, which has a half-life of 16.96 days. These radionuclides have relatively short half-lives, permitting brachytherapy seeds to be inserted into a cancerous tumor and never removed. The radioactivity in the seeds decays, emitting lethal radiation to cancer cells until no detectable radiation remains in the seeds. What are the types of brachytherapy? There are different types of brachytherapy implants. Some remain in the body permanently. Your healthcare provider removes temporary implants after treatment ends your provider will select the best treatment for your specific needs. Brachytherapy implants include a low dose rate. LDR implants emit low doses of radiation for one to seven days. Your provider may remove the implants after treatment or leave them in place permanently. High dose rate. HDR implants discharge high doses of radiation for 10 to 20 minutes. Your provider then removes the implant. Treatment times vary from twice a day for up to five days to once a week for up to five weeks. Permanent. Radioactive implants emit radiation 24-7 until there's no radiation left in them. The implants or seeds, which are about the size of a grain of rice, remain in your body. This treatment is also called seed implantation. This was the small and simplified video on brachytherapy. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. i <laughs>